I love her. She's my little girl, you know. I mean, I've always loved her, but, you know, now that she, you know, she saved my life, you know. She showed me that she's my best friend, you know, because she was worried about me, you know. I mean, she went running around, you know, when she first saw the fire. Her first instinct was to wake me up, you know, thinking about me first. Tonight, Slice So Happy to Sheba, this adorable rescue, gives new meaning to the phrase man's best friend, the three-year-old pup. Yeah, you're still a pup, honey. A saved her owner's life when a fire broke out. And then Sheba's owner ran outside and realized, oh my gosh, Sheba hadn't made it outside. Uh, listen to this. I was yelling outside for her and I didn't see her. So I, you know, I figured that she had to be back in the house. So then I went in the house and, you know, yelled for her. And then she came running and ran, ran outside. She saved my life. Paul Kemp. Uh, I'm so sorry you lost your home, but I'm happy you got out alive, and I'm so happy Sheba got out alive. She is a hero. Tell us how she woke you up and saved your life, Paul. She uh, started barking, and then she jumped on me um, and, until I woke up and saw the fire. And so then you ran out, and once you were outside, you realized, oh, my gosh, Sheba hadn't made it. You ran back in, and how did you find her? I, you know, it was, I mean, the fire was getting bigger and there was a lot of smoke. So I just yelled for her name and she came running to my voice because she always has it. She kind of runs off a little bit. I yell my name and she comes running to me and that's what she did. And then she ran outside and I ran out after her. Well, Sheba is a hero. She rescued you. She saved your life. Now tell me, she's a rescue and you have an organization called Animal Lifeline in uh, Des Moines. And you rescue dogs and cats that are sick and uh, need homes. Tell me about that. Animal Lifeline of Iowa. Right. And that's what we do. Um, you know, we take cats and dogs that are really sick, uh, need a lot of veterinary care, need a lot of medicine, and um, we take care of them, and then we find people to adopt them out that are willing to take that on. Um, we also take dogs and cats that um, are injured, they've been hit by a car, um, you know, and these are dogs and cats that are, people are going to take them and have them euthanized. And then we get them fixed up and we adopt, you know, they adopt those out too. Well, Paul, you are my hero for doing all that. And I say, and you, I'm sure, agree, don't shop for a dog. Adopt. Go to adoptapet.com. Go to Animal Lifeline. There are so many animals desperate for homes. Don't buy them. Adopt them. Save a life.